Well, going, this is Ian Harris from Australia. And on Facebook a couple of days ago, I ran a live video competition about my giveaway. And this is the tutorial. And this is the painting that we're going to paint today. And this is the painting that the winner will win. It's a bit of an acrylic wave. All right. And what I've gone and done, if you look over to my wall there, I've got all the printouts to the names of everybody that put their vote in now there was over 160 messages all right but there ain't 160 applicants only 38 of them put their country and their state that is how you got into the competition I've kept explaining this over and over and over there's going to be more of these competitions so do not worry all right okay take note of your name and your number I'm going to go through the lists and if I'm going too fast for you in this video, you can pause it because um, you, I want you to remember your number. So throughout the video, I'll be calling numbers out. And at the end, towards the end, we'll get to the actual draw for the winning of the painter, for the winner of the painting. Oh, there's one on this page here. Okay, one more page to go. A lot of people commented more than once and said said a lot of things more than once, which is okay. Now I've just showed you the names with the numbers against them. All right, so this is what we're going to paint today, okay? So, okay, so I'll get him on the easel there like that, and we'll get started. All right, I've just put some masking tape there for the horizon line to keep it nice and straight, and I'm going to do the sky first, then we'll come down to the water and the wave, all right? But before I do that, we'll just get on to the paint colours and brushes I'm going to use, all right? I used titanium white, phalo blue, I used a mid yellow and yellow oxide and also some retarder in the mixes. I used a two inch brush for applying the paint. I also used another two inch smaller flathead finer bristled brush. I used a small fan brush. I used a small filbert brush and I also used another larger fan brush for applying the clouds. <laughs> all right now before i spray the board and get going i'm just going to pull a number out of the bowl and see who we can just give a shout out to all right i got number 37 number 37 is leanne larson from minnesota usa all right i'll leave that number there so she won't get a second shout out leanne larson g'day to you leanne larson right I'm going to just get some water and wet the top of my board there where I want the sky. Now down here, I've got my flow white flow paint with retarder in there, okay? So I'm getting all that mixed up like that. I've also got another pole here of phalo blue. That'll be used as well. All right, so now I'm going to get all this sky done because this sky is going to be blending nice blended sky all right so we'll get all that white flow white paint on there with retarder in it okay i'm getting some of that phalo blue on me brush my two inch brush with the retarder in there and we'll get our sky going all right so come across the top and then i'm going to come down That's all in there beautifully. Now I want to get my blending brush and I just want to blend these brush marks out of there. I'm sort of tapping it on and off with slight with the slightest twists. That way all this blue is like it's been spray painted on there, all right? Look at that. And with your blending, be sure to always dab the excess paint that builds up on your brush because the way I apply all these 
under whites with retarda and that there's a lot of body of paint there and it builds up and if you don't keep wiping it off your brush you kind of make those idiotic boo-boos you don't want to make all right this is pretty much the color of the sky I want we'll get a bit of darkness in the corners here I'm grabbing my fan brush and getting some more of this phalo blue onto there just so I can get in some dark corners so I'll virtually lace it on there like so and over this side just so I've got something dark in the corners there all right grab your blending brush and the same again dab and pad and twist very lightly just so the the movement of the colors where they're joining each other is soft this is acrylic so we've got that pretty much blended in now this ain't gonna have some detail in misty clouds behind I'll just do simple clouds on this one alright we're ready for some clouds but before I do that I'm going to pull another number out of the bowl and this number is number one okay so number one is Heather Stanworth from South Wales in UK g'day Heather Stanworth from South Wales in UK how are you doing lovely you were on on in on this competition giveaway okay I've got my fan brush down here I've got my sculptured white paint and we don't want to go too technical with this sky all right so we're just going to get some simple clouds in there and as I do the the crisscross emotion I'll, I'll I'm just gonna keep with that theme now I'm giving them some body and what I mean by body is I'm not just doing a little skinny line you want something to blend so it's got a lot of thickness and grunt see it looks like crap at the moment but once you're blending from halfway down you'll you'll create life into that cloud nice and soft okay rub your blending brush nice and soft and rub your blending brush every now and then tickle the top if it looks a bit too neat and too um, like it's just come out of a machine you want it to look natural your clouds you don't want them to look like they just come out of a bloody machine all right there we go we're just going to quickly put another one in front of that maybe down here a bit that'll do wipe your blending brush and blend that down into our atmosphere after I do this cloud here I'll um, get a bit excited and uh, pull another number out of the bowl okay all right let's pull another number out of here and see who else will get a bit of a mention that's my number 36 all right who is number 36 36 goes to Maria Kellner from Sydney Australia hello Maria Kellner how you going right where's me brush here we're gonna put some more clouds on the other side so I'll quickly get this done oh I'll get it up there something different that'll do wipe your blending brush and then blend from about halfway down the cloud into your atmosphere and uh, that's simple okay now a lot of people are telling me they're having trouble with their clouds if you're having trouble with your clouds practice the darn things before you try doing a full painting if you're having trouble don't just expect to do a painting if you don't know how to do it practice the procedures all right now we're not going to go too much detail into this sky because as I said our waves are there they're the owner of this painting today now I want to take this masking tape off and then we can get down and start doing the lower section of the water and the wave okay now with this water and wave I'm gonna do it quite basic and simple to understand and the more advanced you get with your colors and how to do certain paintings you can start tipping it up from there mixing the right colors but I'm just gonna make it straightforward blunt 
honest and easy, all right? And it's just two colours we're going to do to create these colours of the water. But I'm getting bloody excited. I want to pull another number, all right? All right, I'm not looking because I do not want to cheat. Who we got here? Number 38, all right? Who's number 38? Renita Amazing from Alabama, USA. Hello, Renita Amazing. I think you got a number pulled on a previous video. You're doing all right. If I was you, I'd buy a bloody lottery ticket. Couldn't win a million dollars, split at half each, and we'll both be happy, eh? Anyway, let's get on to this. Now, I'm not sure. I'm thinking, and I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking, and I'm not quite sure what I want to do here. Do I retard this? Do I not? How slow or fast is the procedure going to happen? Because sometimes procedures can um, participate in their own way and um, comprehend uh, behaviours that you don't want to happen. All right? So... I want to get the water in with phalo blue and yellow, which will create the greens, all right? So, um, oh, oh, I've got to pull another bloody number. I'm just excited, all right? Here we go again. Mixing them, mixing them. I want to pull another number. What have we got here? We have got, oh, they're all high numbers at the moment, 33. Kenny Boris from Oregon, USA. G'day, Kenny Boris. You're number 33. He is from Oregon in USA. All right. Now we'll get into the water. Down here, I've got some more phalo blue, and I'll, I'll just press the number for this one. Okay, that was mid-yellow if you missed it. All right. Now, this is the first bit of phalo blue with retarder in it. Now, the brush I'm using here is a more, I call it more direct. The, the, the hairs are really, these are like plastic nylon hairs, I think. But they're going to be good. You'll see when I'm putting it onto the easel how they work. Now, I'm getting my paint and I'm getting it with some retarder in it. But I haven't wet the board, the canvas board, and I have not put my flow white paint on it. I just want this to be its own colour, all right? See this brush? I can get reasonably close to that horizon line and get a pretty good transition of the two. See that? If it was my big thick blending brush or the one I used to applicate the paint, it would not get a job done like this. I will though give the board a bit of a a wet. We'll get this on the board, bring it down. Because this is the outer part of the ocean. There's not, not too much motion in this part of the ocean. Get the yellow, which is going to create green. This yellow has retarder in it, and it's going to turn green, see? That's pretty much the green I want. And I'm going to come from here and then bring this up into the blue. All right, I've done that. And I want to blend this green. Let's see how it goes with no white background. I want to sort of soften up where it's meeting the blue. All right. Just like so. Now, we can add a little bit of white into this. I'm just using the flow white. And we'll put a bit of... Just like that. Wipe your brush. I mean, that looks a bit stupid, doesn't it, eh? But we'll fix that up now. Let's just put in some character into our ocean, some light and dark bits. Wipe the brush. There's a bit too much there. I'll wipe some of that off. And we're coming down into the blues and greens, and we've got some of that wishy-washy stuff happening. Now I want to get some yellow oxide. And this is just going to create the, the front sand at the front here, okay? So we're just going to scratch this into the, the canvas. I'll put a bit of water in that so it'll spread a bit better. And get that up to the green there. 
like so. Right into the green there. I'm grabbing some titanium white on the fan brush just to break this up a bit. Uh, that'll do. Where was I up to? Now wipe this brush, just wipe the, the excess off there and then bring that across like so. Just so as we got that sort of blended nicely or artistically enough that you're happy with it okay and see I'm happy with that and we'll just get that into that green there just like that so they're coming together real nicely okay all right let's pull another number out of here uh, let's see what we got oh we got lucky number seven okay Penny McCalla from British Columbia from British Columbia Canada Penny Micola. Hello Penny Micola from British Columbia, Canada. Was glad that you can join in in this process with us today. So we're going to start off with the darker green and I want the wave sort of coming here. Okay? And along. Along. Or maybe along a bit more. I want to get my darker green and come off from where my wave's going to need the darker bit. Now with this I'm putting it on there in the green because it's in the green all right about there and merge that into the other green there okay just so it's blended nice and softly down here i've mixed up a darker green and i'm getting a lighter one up here so i want it a bit more pale white lighter the wave lighter now okay so i'm going to come across come across come across where all my light paint is all right wipe the brush i'm using a small filbert one here and merge that with that darker green okay so you got a nice soft transition i want my wave coming back about here so i want to get that blended in getting these colors right in your wave is what creates your wave now I want a bit more lighter colour here, maybe at the top there. Get that lighter at the top there, pretty much all the way across the top here. Pushing it on with my brush. And bringing that down as well. Alrighty, our wave's coming along pretty well alright. I'm getting a bit happy with it, alright? Now, I'm going to mix these up like that. I'll close my eyes like that and I'll pull out a number real easy. See? Now, what number have we got here? We have got number 23, alright? Yamaha from Oregon, USA. Hello to you, Miss Yamaha. Ha, from Oregon, USA. God damn. Sounds like a motorcycle, eh? Frrr, Yamaha. I had a Yamaha a few years ago. It was a cruiser bike. Anyway, let's get on with this painting. Now, we've got to work out um, where we need lights and darks, all right? Okay, you can see what's happening. So I'm getting all the shadows in. So virtually, my wave is going to be dancing across, hitting the water here. So I want those darks in now. Under here, you want to leave a gap and sort of a little bit there. Blend that down into this lighter green there, okay? Come across here, something like that. This is just the basis I want to do a wave. There's so many millions of different ways to do it. And you know why there's so many different millions of ways to doing it? Because there's so many different millions of artists that do them. Somewhere here. Right, a 
against that dark bit there. I want to pull another number, all right? So let's give him a bit of a flip. Okay. All right, who's the number here? Oh, it's a low number. Number four. Achana Dubey Pathak. Achana Puthay Pathak. I really hope I pronounced that right. And you're from India. Hats off to you and thanks for joining in, all right? Now, we're ready to put some whites in here, all right? So I want the white in two different colours. I want a little bit of yellow mixed into it. So when I really want to sparkle it up, we can use pure white to get that shine on there, all right? Now, coming across the top of the wave here, which is pretty much coming downhill there. So I'll get that in there. You can draw this in if you want. I just didn't bother drawing it in. So when we put our whites on there, it's going to bring this um, wave to life. Down here, I've got my white. I've got some water with it. No retarder in this. I'm getting the littlest bit of yellow because I want to stain it just so it's dirty, ye dirty yellowy white, all right? I want to start, let's say, from this side here. I'm, I've got my very small fan brush, okay? I'm using that, and this is virtually going to give me the top of my wave like so. I want it reasonably somewhere down there. I'll get the sides of it. This here you can sort of get the sides of everything going. Now the top of this, the main, let's call this the back of the wave. I'm going to call this the backbone of the wave. This here we want some, it's starting to get splashy and it's starting to get busy. Ease that bottom down into there like so, but on the motion of the ocean's wave, all right? See what I've done there? Teasing it, wipe your brush. Tease it some more, all the way down there somewhere. And get that little bit of crap happening in there as well. There we go. Just getting the lightest shimmer on here because for this shoulder of the wave, I want to sort of have it so it looks like it's folding over into the, the sort of the smooth shoulder beginning of the wave which is about here. Now we'll get over to here and start getting these bits down. So I'll start there like that, come across. This is kind of going to be blended as well. I want to sort of blend them up and down in the motion of that wave curling, okay? Just so those lines aren't so distinctively ugly beautiful i'd like to pull another number out of the bowl so we'll get these going <coughs> not looking not looking what number have we got now oh another low number number two carol fuller from spain alicante Carol Fuller, g'day to you. How you going from Australia? From Spain. God damn, they're coming from everywhere, aren't they, eh? I'm happy about that, and I hope you are too, because one of you are going to win this painting. Someone's going to win it, all right? All right, now we're going to put the splashing bits on there, and we're using taking advantage of that dark colour that I've put there. I'm using this little fan brush. Bits of water are coming off everywhere. So this is still that white with the dirty, dirty, um, it's a bit more violent over here, with the dirty, uh, what do you call it, yellow in it. I've mixed with the yellow in it, okay? So I've done a bit like that, but because it looks a bit, oh, what's that? That's a bit rubbishy. I'm going to grab my little filbert brush that I've been blending. It's quite dry, and just sort of mix this, mix it like, it's 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 just like cloud or something what you're doing and we'll probably sharpen it up with some darker colors but this has got to come over that darker bottom crest of that dropping wave quickly dance this across there oody 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 there you go because i want to i want to call out another number see that's just up in the air look at it Grabbing our other little blending brush 
and I don't know, sort of twist it backwards and forwards, clockwise, any clockwise, on and off the canvas, just so you, and sometimes where these thick bits are, you might have to, uh, you know, and don't worry if it looks too blotchy and too much, because we can come back with our darker colour and fix it up. So we're getting the, back to the painting, we're getting the yellowy white colour on there appropriately, roughly where we want it, all right? Sort of getting some of this like that. And I'm gonna blend it into very dry. You don't want this too, just like that, yeah. So we're getting, this is pretty much the surface foam. And if anything, it's gonna come out this way, not just straight in one direction, okay? Just do a bit at a time to sort of put it on there, foam it up, foam it up. But keep it in perspective with the, keep the strokes in perspective with your painting. All right, don't just go all over the place and make it look like hogwash. I've watched some Mark Waller, Australian guy, and he goes out and takes photos and I'm pretty sure just with that subconsciously he's educating himself on his subjects how they work and how they live and breathe so he'll know he'll have a better way of portraying that onto his canvas and that's if you are really really passionate that's the sort of habit you want to adopt all right it's time to pull another number so i want to pull another number out of this bowl here let's see what we grab we have grabbed oh a number 30 all right Oh my golly, it's a West Australian girl from Collie. Who lives in Collie, Western Australia? Melinda Fitzgerald. G'day to you, Melinda Fitzgerald. That's in my home state of Australia. Melinda Fitzgerald in Collie, Western Australia. Oh, you could be the winner of this painting. Anyway, we've got to get back into it. Sort of get some of this whitewash along the front so I'm sort of twisting this like so like so like so across to there now I only want to I want to leave the front edge there I just want to blend this back into there okay and you can see what's happening don't forget to subscribe to my bloopers channel as well the playlist they're all they're all going to be put into the one playlist Okay, and they do have mild to coarse language. That's a bit harsh there, a bit wet. But anyway. And we'll probably come from about here somewhere. Twisting, keeping it parallel with your perspective along here and maybe there like so. That's alright, and maybe a bit this way and keeping everything blended keeping the hard line there and blending it back into the motion of the ocean all right okay I've used the same color blue with a little bit of the green there so I'm using the colors that's on the palette on it's in the painting I'm getting my script liner and we're putting some shadow under this whitewash okay just like so. It doesn't have to be a solid line under it, just broken up here and there, I, I reckon. But nice and tight, like that. This just sits your waves down onto the front sand there, okay? So they don't look like they're floating. Bit here. I want to pull another number out of this bowl. Oops, one fell on the floor. Put it back in there. All right, let's see what number we got now. We have number 20, all right? Michelle Lib Library from Brisbane, Australia. G'day, Michelle Library. How are you going there? Good to see you can join us. All right, almost finished. Get another number out of there. I want to pull a few out through the show so as people don't miss out on a bit of a shout-out. Number... 13, Dedira Creason from Grove, Oklahoma, USA. 
Dadira Greeson. G'day to you, Dadira from Oklahoma, USA. So glad you could have joined us. Now we'll get these little soapy veiny lines in. Now you want to sort of have them in the shape of the curve. So me curves. And you'll want them a really thin if you can. That's a getting a bit thick there. I don't want to muck up my painting. I've done an all right job now. So you see, you want all these nice and thin. What you're doing? How's that looking? Yeah, see, that's all right. It's all right. But that one there's a bit on the fat side for the size of the wave. So I'm sort of bringing them down like that. Anyway, let's not play for too much because we don't want to spoil it. Whoever wins this will be saying, bloody hell, he's stuck with it too much. Wow, well, didn't he listen to himself and stop getting our white paint on the fan brush? That's just adding different tones to all your whites, I suppose. So get some on there. Don't kill all the yellowy white because we want to blend. Just a bit of a shine up there. Scratching it down. So you got all different tones of white. Bit here. Don't overkill it if you can help it. I'm, I can feel I'm wanting to get carried away here. Wipe the brush and really mystify some of that. So it's like finer sprays coming off of ocean spray you know all right we're going to pull one more number out just for a shout out before we wrap this show up and it is number 34 right there can you see that tammy sharp from ohio usa g'day to you tammy sharp how the hell are you going there cobber i'll just put my signature on here Alrighty, we'll whack a frame on this and then we'll pull out the lucky winner, all right, so they could see what they're going to win. I've got a just so happen to have a frame down here. So whack a frame on that. There we go, look at that. Doesn't look too shabby, eh? So what we'll do, we'll grab those numbers all back in the bowl. Okay, these were the shout out numbers. They're going back. Can you see that? They're going back in there. All right, now this is the main draw, okay? The lucky number that gets pulled out of here is going to bloody win this painting oh who's it gonna be male or female all right we have the lucky number 14 who the hell's number 14 i hope you saw that number Cassidy Jones from Alabama, USA. G'day, Cassidy Jones from Alabama in USA. You are the lucky number that got pulled out to win this tutorial giveaway, all right? So I'll be contacting you by private message and making things happen. Right. I hope you enjoyed this uh, exercise I brought to you today. It's a bit, of a bit of a way for you beginners to do in acrylics here, all right? All the best to everybody. Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.